The first thing you need to do is clone the Easy RSA repo from the OpenVPN organization on GitHub. Inside this directory, there will be an executable called Easy RSA. You need to run this with the init PKI option. You will now have a CA. You now need to run Easy RSA build CA no pass and enter your organizational details here. This will allow you to issue certificates in your name. You now need to issue a certificate called server, which the Easy RSA build server full can do. The server value is the server name. Now to issue a client on that key. Here you can enter your client's host name. Now this has been done, go into the PKI directory and you will see two directories, private and issued. These will contain keys and certificates. You need to copy these. They will become useful in a minute. Now go to the Amazon Certificate Manager. Click Provision Certificates and then Import a Certificate. Paste in the contents of the server certificate that you got earlier. You will see that a certificate called Server has appeared. Now go to the VPC section in AWS and select Security Groups. Create a new security group for your VPN and give it a descriptive name such as VPN Client. This security group is what you will use to allow access to other resources in your VPC. Now that you have created your VPC security group, click Client VPN Endpoints and click Create Client VPN Endpoint. Give it a descriptive name. Your CIDR block needs to be something within the range of your VPC. However, it cannot be consumed by one of your subnets. You need to select your server certificate ARN and select Use Mutual Authentication. Both certificates should be the same. Your DNS servers are default for the VPC and you will need to select your security group. You can change the transport protocol as well if you want to. Click Create. This may take a moment. You will see that the client VPN endpoint exists. Click Associate and add your subnets. You can only associate one subnet per availability zone. This will take a few minutes. Now this is complete, click Authorization and you need to enter your VPN subnet. This address will allow any communication from the VPN or clients on the VPN to communicate inside your VPC. You can be more granular about this if you want to. Now you wait. Now go to your private folder and obtain your client certificates. Click Download Client Configuration in AWS and edit the file you download. Here you need to insert your certificate files. This is done by adding a cert and a key section to the file. In here, you will put the contents of your client.cert and client.key. Now we are going to add an extra value. We're going to add a root. This will be the CIDR block of our VPC and our subnet mask. In this case, 255.255.0.0. .0 .0. 
This may vary based on your VPC. This allows for a split tunnel setup. Now we're going to open this in our Open VPN client. Click Connect. The VPN is now connected. To follow the latest AWS features, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video.